Okay, um, this training video is for everybody watching, of course. Uh, specifically, I've designed it for Solon, um, who's uh, one of Tremere's Unbelt Champions. We got to work out some stuff at golf horses this year. Um, and here's kind of a little refresher course. So these are mostly mid to advanced level um, uh, sword techniques. And the first one we're doing uh, is a triple combination that starts with an unusual opener. Everybody knows an offside shot, you twist your hips that way and you throw like that. Well, the only problem with that is that Nordrola, who's helping me here with this demo, can see that a mile away. So it's not very hard for him to get a defense in place for that. Um, so the way we're throwing this, this is called the reverse hip offside. And Taurus is a staple for lefties, uh, but it's also a very good safe opener. Watch how my hips take the exact same motion as if I was throwing a flat snap. However, instead of a flat snap, I'm throwing an offside right to the eye. The sword tip comes over, the hand comes high. This is very nice for you know, sneaking it in there, especially if he's using like a hanging guard where you know, a, a normal offside shot, I'm not gonna be able to get it in there, but this one, I can punch it right inside that guard. Um, most of my combos are designed to play to the corners. So if my first shot comes here, I want the other one to go to a different corner. Uh, using this reverse offside opener, where it's like basically you're throwing a reverse punch. Everybody see that? And when we get to the drill, let's help practice it. We're throwing a reverse punch. I promise I'll hit you. Okay, you're good. A reverse punch. The hand is high. It'll usually hit right in the face. Um, but you know what? I don't really even care if the shot is good. Because the goal here is to get Roland's attention up to this left, uh, left high quadrant. So he'll shift his defense over there. My next step from here is to step with my right leg and throw a rotique. Look, that's the back of my sword striking to the head. And I'm still pretty safe here. And the final shot in this combination is then a pendulum that comes in to the body. So what we're doing, breaking down slowly, is reverse punch, back edge rotique, crank it into the body. Um, the reason why we're doing the back edge for this shot is while well, you certainly could do a front edge shot that's a lot easier for him to pick up on a shield. Plus, that leaves his sword free to, you know, to counter, and my sh sword's out of position. But if I throw the back edge, even if he throws a flat snap or a wrap, my sword's already there for the parry. And then I can go ahead and throw, my, throw that final shot. Um, so showing it again. One, two, three. Uh, to the camera. One, two, three. Okay? So again, this is more of an advanced technique. Um, so keep that in mind. Can you see it from my side? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I mean. <laughs> yeah, so you can really see what's going on over here. Yep. One, two, three. The first shot, if you catch the person in the face, then great. But really, what I want to do with this first shot is to make him engage his sword. So most people will sword parry that. Then his shield will probably come up to pick up that one, leaving an opening right there. Now, depending on how nice you're feeling, you can throw this inside shot as a short stick to the head. You can throw the shot to the body. Or if he's opened up for it, you can throw it as a, as a, to the armpit. Like I said, depending on how nice you're feeling. Um, Lord Roland is a very clean fighter, but what if you're having some trouble convincing your opponent that he's bested? Well, that final shot to the armpit might be a good solution for you. You know? You have to enforce your will. So, um, I'll demonstrate, and then uh, we'll take turns having folks you know, kind of run through the basics. Reverse hip, boutique, inside pendulum. That's the gist of it. All right, uh, Roland, go ahead and walk through it slowly. This is new stuff, so let's go slow. All right, it's a, yes, back edge, just like that. Did y'all see that? Well, let's see it one more time. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good combo for getting in close on somebody in a safe way. This, this step's really fast. Yes. 
Please. Yeah, it comes across pretty quick. Yeah. Um, and again, with that second retique shot, who cares if it hits or, or if it lands hard enough or not? Um, really, the point of that is to get his defense all the way up here and open up that shot to the body of the armpit. Uh, Tatsuo, you're next. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Again. The swing's back. Yep. Punch. Uh huh. Good. Good. All right, course. The most important thing here for you is that initial opening shot. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Now, as a lefty, hit, hit whatever comes open. So as you throw that, that, that reverse punch, if I go high and block, block high on it, yeah, step into your lefty wrap. Um, so it's a little bit different for you. Also, don't be afraid to do your a reverse hip offside, then go to a flat snap to my sword arm. Because what might happen, yeah, yeah. If I sword parry this, look at him wide open. Flat snap right into my sword arm. All day long. Then the really quick shot. One, two. Yep. Yeah, you just take a big leg. Okay, um, Els, you're up. And again, this is a little uh, you know, more, more advanced. Just gotta go through the motion to see how it feels. So like you're trying to punch. You're leading with your right hip. Yes. Back edge. Yeah, right in the armpit. That's good. That's good. Okay, um, so showing that one more time uh, for the audience. We have reverse hip, rotique, back edge, pendulum to the body. All right. Um, the next shot we're doing is kind of a, uh, a, a center grip special. It's the Mullen A followed by the under the shield cross cut. So Roland will come out. Um, we talked about the corners. If I throw a flat snap or a Mullen A high, oftentimes I want to hit that corner next. But if I throw here and shift through, he has a lot of time to react to that. So, because he, you can see this coming, even if I have a really quick cross cut, or if I do the behind the shield cross cut, you have a lot of time to react. On the other hand, how much time and awareness does he have to react if I throw Moline, blinding him for a split second, and under the shield cross cut? Did everybody see that? Let's try that slowly. I threw one, two. Now, it's important after I do this, what will be the next step, whether I hit him or not? What, what do y'all think? What do I do next? Dis yes. Disengage. I yeah. disengage. But here's the danger. If I throw Moline to the cross cut and I disengage, Roland's going to blast my leg. Now, what usually happens when I do this is I'll throw the Moline to the cross cut and he throws the leg. You're gone. That's called a hanging block. So after I twist, for that cross cut, I let the sword hang to defend my leg, and then once I'm a safe distance, I'll retract. Um, the trick here is uh, getting power, but a lot of the power for the shot comes from the rotation of the hips. So once I'm here, my hips, my, my sword comes back as if it's sheath, and then I rotate hard into the side. This is one that is, will surprise your opponent a lot. They're not braced for it, they're not expecting it, so this can often hit a lot harder than you expect. And again, if for whatever reason you're having trouble convincing your opponent that he's bested, this is one where you can throw the shot into the armpit as a rising strike. Show it again. Okay? I throw Moline, lined, short stick to the armpit. Um, that's going to be good in most people's books. And if not, then it's, you're in for a treat because it means you can inflict as much pain on this person as you want and not go to jail. So, look at it as a positive. Um, let's look at what the shield is doing here. After we throw the Moline and Roland blocks it, the shield advances forward as the sword slides back. So I can still see Roland, but he cannot see me for the split second it takes to uncoil into that shot. Um, so the hand turns over like this. Um, so looking at the camera, it goes Moline to the cross cut and then disengage. 
and we're back. Uh, with the camera facing the same way as me. Molinade to the cross pack, disengage back. This is something you can also do with a strap shield. Um, I'm demonstrating with center grip because that's what um, Solon uses. So, but Roland can demonstrate uh, just by turning his shield as he does it. Yeah, exactly. I do do this with my strap shield too. So go ahead and demonstrate. Roll it A. One. Yeah. Um, it takes some practice to get this such that the sword smoothly travels where it needs to be. Yes, there you go. Yeah. For that split second that all I saw was the turtles on Roland's shield. Turtles? You know, th that, that's all it took for him to get that uh, offside leg shot in. All right, Atetso, come on out. I'll show oh, you yeah, one more time. The green one over there or the... Uh, to the cross cut. The silver one's a little bit... Your turn. Easier to handle. Not as heavy. Yeah, good, good. And with a longer sword, you could you could actually play with range a little bit there too. Yeah, the you could be fading out, or you could get stuck in your side. Because you you'll still be able to hit me with that. Watch this. I'm good. coming down. It's still over here. Uh, I'm already. You already wanted to shift the shield inwards. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Um, it's a challenge with the smaller shield, but as long as it's covering your head and blinding me, your sword will cover um, anything that comes down on the leg side. So. Yeah, as a lefty, that's a way that you could take that shield side leg that a lot of righties foolishly think is untouchable by a lefty. Or likewise, the same thing, a righty could do that to you. If I throw the ball at A and you shield block it, that opens up the, you know, it will obviously cover here. So let's try it again. That's right, you know, slide under. So your ball at A comes in like this and just travels straight down. Back to a sheet position. Yes, good, good. You see, so it works with either hand. All right, Ellis. Yep. Yes, yes, that's it. That's good, good. Okay, so to recap, um, we worked on reverse hip. Offside to the back edge to the pendulum. And we worked on Molade, shift through to the cross cut. Disengage, reset. Alright, so that's it. Uh, Solon, go ahead and give this a try. Send a video of you doing it, and I'll let you know if I can uh, you know, help you put this into, into, into use. I will see y'all next time. See ya.